Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lions Challenge Runs in the Binding of Isaac. Got a good run today that is uh, very high risk, very high reward, shall we say. This is called Tank Boy. Uh, I believe it originally had the name Tank Driver, but I changed it to Tank Boy because it's a playoff of, you know, Lori Petty's Tank Girl, which half the people out there are like, oh yeah, I sort of remember that, and half the people are like, fuck, what the hell is that? Anyway, um, we're basically role-playing the driver of a, you know, mobile armored unit, aka a tank right now. So we've got, uh, you know, Ipecac, which is like our, you know, high power shots. Uh, we have Guardian Angel and Halo of Flies, which are acting as our armor. We have two buckets of lard, which have made us a little stronger, but also much slower, which is important. And we have Anarchist Cookbook, which functions as a uh, an airstrike that we can call down. Now, this is unfortunate that the miter is in there, because the condition of this run that I just remembered now is we have to skip the first two item rooms uh, in order to justify... Oh man, Ipecac just destroyed that guy. Uh, we have to skip the first two item rooms in order to justify having these, you know, fairly good items that we start with. And we do start with some fairly good items here, obviously. People will tell you that Ipecac is not a, um... You know, we should probably take that orange pill. We can afford it. The, the other thing is... Oh, that was really good. I'm glad I did it. The only thing, um... I will say that the other thing is, before we move on, you can't take any speed upgrades on this run. So that's going to be an issue for us, as is the fact that I'm barely faster than these guys, and I'm going to have to do some kind of creative stuff to make this run work, I think. Uh, maybe, uh, I have no idea. <laughs> Might just have to bite the bullet on this one or, or drop some bombs, uh, which is actually going to work. Wow, I didn't expect that. Hopefully we don't have to deal with that too much more often. But yes, we skipped the first two item rooms, and we cannot take any speed upgrades, so hopefully you understand what's up with that. Uh, it, what, despite what people say, Ipecac is a basically objectively positive upgrade. There are times when it's not great. If you get a lot of range upgrades, it can become impossible to use. Probably if you get a lot of range downgrades, you know, why not go... Let's risk it and uh, go for the golden chest this time. I am not necessarily unglad I did, uh, because Isaac's fork is going to give us some sweet lifesteal and we need some hearts. Uh, but, um... God, I can't believe you got me there. Uh, but yeah, Ipecac is basically a net positive due to the insane damage that it does, in my opinion at least. Uh, I don't know if it's a objective, but I, I, I can't say objective or objectively that Ipecac is a bad item. Sometimes it doesn't play nice with other upgrades that you can get, but uh, you know, if you gave me the option of starting a run and I could have either like Vanilla Isaac or Isaac with Ipecac, I would definitely take Isaac with Ipecac probably every single time as long as um, you know variety wasn't an issue, if you know what I mean. So I do have um, a, the Anarchist Cookbook here. I guess that's how I'm going to be, how I'm going to take out enemies that are, get close to me. Uh, because otherwise I kind of have no recourse to get rid of them. Unless I can just run into them like so with Guardian Angel. That actually went really well. So we'll take our HP upgrade. Uh, you know what, why don't we uh, leave this floor without taking any items too? Because I still feel like we're a little bit too strong. So next floor we'll start playing vanilla style. Uh, you know, with item rooms, shops, etc, etc, uh, all bets are off, except no speed upgrades, uh, and you guys know how I hate, uh, the inability to get speed upgrades, especially when you're super slow to start with. Oh, come on! Well, you know what, we found the secret room, so why don't we just start down here, pick up this eternal heart, and then go back into this room. Uh, and in fact, if we wanted to, we could just bomb our way out of here, there's not really much keeping me there. Uh, so I can just leave. I mean, if I wanted to go to the mob trap room, that would have been, uh, a bad decision, but... I, I didn't, really. <laughs> it's possible there's a good item in there, but if it's in a golden chest, which it likely is, and it's good, uh, I don't have the ability to pick it up regardless, so what does it matter? So we're going to have to execute uh, some interesting protocol here if we're going to succeed If we're going to succeed at all. Um, I, I am definitely going to have to use uh, our flies and the, like, the halo of flies surrounding me to take out enemies. Uh, let's go check and see the secret rooms back here. Uh, and I'm definitely going to have to use Ipecac strategically, and for once, I'm going to have to use Anarchist Cookbook strategically, I feel. That is a very very lucky uh, item room, or sorry, secret room here, because I can go into the mob trap room if I want to. Uh, oh, now can I bomb my way out? Well, no, and I hurt myself. We might as well go through with it then, uh, I guess. There's good arguments, I guess, on both sides of that. There's really no point for me to go through with this, considering I didn't get all that much. But you never know what's going to be in one of those chests. And rem oh, that's so stupid. We are actually to the point where I'm, I, I didn't think this was going to be a worry at all, but now I'm like, we could actually lose our uh, Eternal Heart here, which would be real shitty, and as you can probably imagine. Uh, let's drop a bomb in here, hopefully that'll at least keep some people busy. We killed two of them, and I might be able to just abuse Guardian Angel and the Halo of Flies. Gotta be very careful on the corners, but, oh, okay, there's one, and let's get the second one. Like I said, this is far from a traditional run. Uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this plays out as we get into some more difficult areas in the game, taking out enemies like zombies, uh, which are going to chase us down with a little bit more uh, vigilance. Uh, but hopefully, you know, the, the skills that I learned on these early floors will hopefully...
pay off as you move a little bit later in. So I don't want to deal with these assholes, but you know, sometimes when you enter a room from a different side, you can, uh, you know, th everything looks different, shall we say. So I do want to go to the uh, secret room again, because I want to bomb my way into the shop. We could possibly get something to modify our anarchist cookbook, which may prove to be more valuable uh, than originally meets the eye, or originally one might expect, given that anarchist cookbook is probably among my least favorite 20 items in the game. It's an interesting situation. Let's buy Bomb Friend. You know, he might be interesting. Buy, drop some bombs and keys for us, which we kind of desperately need. Uh, and again, if we modify Anarchist's cookbook, it doesn't really make a huge difference. And it's not like we can pick up the candle or anything like that, so... Uh, I, I kind of feel like this is an okay course of action. Bomb Friend can, you know, pick up some pennies and maybe uh, help us out more than he's hurting us. So we are going to uh, go down to the right now. It's been a slow floor, but maybe that's a good thing because we haven't had to rush at all. Now, it seems like an easy joke to say this, but this is a tank run, and we are pretty damn tanky, so I'm expecting that uh, once things start going off the rails, which they usually do uh, at some point, uh, things will get more difficult, but they will do so in a strange way uh, that kind of becomes like a war of attrition, and it's going to take us a little bit longer than usual to kind of fall apart, which might give us enough time to survive. You never know. Oh, sorry, bum friend. I still should pick up some money. You never know. Maybe we'll get something very useful. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna save this High Priestess card as long as I can, and I really think Ipecac is basically like, you know, it's kind of like a miniature mom's knife in the sense that it is kind of a guarantee that you're gonna survive at least for, you know, the first phase of the game. You're gonna be able to at least, you know, get through the mom nonsense, um, which sounds like the, a sequel to some kind of book. I don't actually want a range upgrade, so we're gonna skip without that. Remember, no speed upgrades allowed. If I get an, an accidental speed upgrade by way of the... Mm, I don't like this. Let's try Anarchist Cookbook here. Probably a silly decision because there's, uh, you know, so limited places for me to dodge. This has actually been very interesting. I'm surprised that I've managed to come out of this okay. If he comes down after me, I, what, what I was going to say is I would just try to run into him with the Guardian Angel, but we didn't have to do that, thankfully. Sadly, I've completely cut myself off from this chest, but that's okay. I like this run. And at first glance, it might appear that, like, oh, this run is just, like, all about Ipecac, but it's not. It's actually about using some very interesting and uh, unique, varied tactics, diverse tactics, if you will. Uh, to, to make good things happen uh, in, in situations that require it. Oh, uh, this is not good. This is really not good. Uh, luckily, we've destroyed them. I did manage to make that Eternal Heart work, though. So we're out of Spirit Hearts now. Who gives a shit, basically? We found a secret room by accident. That's kind of surprising. All right, come at me, bro. And then a single... Oh, I guess I should have just taken him out the old-fashioned way. Or the new-fashioned way, I suppose. So, our secret room. Uh, Bob's Rotten Head. Not even worth picking up. It, it would be interesting if Bob's Rotten Head did the same thing that, like... Um, I don't know, Mr. Mega or, you know, Bobby bob or something did. But if you picked it up, it automatically just turned all of your bombs poison for the rest of the game. Might be a little bit overpowered, but I don't like Bob's Rotten Head at all, basically. It's one of my least favorite uh, active items in the game. There's a lot of bad active items. Uh, bob's Rotten Head is not quite in the category of something like a poop, obviously. Uh, but it's not very good either, so. Uh, the Blood Bank? Oh, I blew it up by accident. But if, if I didn't, uh, especially if you managed to find an arcade, the Blood Bank raises a, a very interesting kind of issue for us, which is we have a ton of health. Maybe we could uh, leverage that health to get more health. What can I say? The rich keep getting richer. And it's actually, I, I would really almost welcome getting more bombs at this point as well. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, because these bombs actually give us a huge advantage when it comes to enemies like Eyeless Ooze guys that chase us down. But again, we're, we're sadly lacking in keys here, so I don't know uh, if we're going to be able to, to make this happen. But as of right now, you know, it would be probably a little bit premature to call by death uh, an inevitability, given that we have 10 hearts uh, and Ipecac, which allows us to do a ton of damage. Certainly much better off than you could possibly be in a vanilla run by this point, unless you had an, a staggering amount of luck. Uh, well, the other thing is the Silkworms actually cannot hit me as long as they run into a... Oh, that was really bad. As long as they run into a Guardian Angel or a Halo of Flies first, uh, they will die before they have a chance to actually... Uh, hit me, or they'll just bounce off, which is another kind of weird effect that I didn't notice until somewhat recently. Can't take that, as, as it is a speed upgrade, and we are kind of continuing on this very Spartan-esque Spartan run. Um, and again, this is where things are going to get interesting, because we've got these Zombros. Uh, and we got a Golden Chest, not a Tinted Rock out of that, sadly, which is really... Or not a uh, Spirit Heart out of that, sadly, which actually is really unfortunate, but... Zombies have turned out to be surprisingly easy. Now I'm realizing that I should probably be a little bit more vigilant about looking for uh, secret rooms because if I don't look, or if I don't look for secret rooms, then I'm possibly shooting myself in the foot because they can open up paths to other rooms. So even the second secret room, you know, it has a potential to show up there, uh, which it did not. We'll see what this pill does. Accidental speed upgrade. I, you know, I, I plead ignorance. 
Uh, that was a total accident. Uh, and, you know, if I find a speed downgrade pill, by all means, I, I will remember to take it if I can. Which I, I should be able to. I, you know, don't have the most faith in myself, but still. Uh, can't, that's the thing, there should be a way to have, like, runs without pills. Uh, so that doesn't happen. Or you could just, I guess, not take pills, but that seems to limit a certain uh, wider proportion of the game than is absolutely necessary. Anyway, I was thinking about speedrunning the boss, but then I thought that would have been doing a disservice uh, to the, both the run and uh, the people involved in it, including you, the viewer. Uh, so I'm going to instead take my time, we're going to look for some keys, and we're going to try to future-proof us a little bit, because as of right now, uh, we're, we're very good. We're a little strong, uh, but that changes uh, pretty drastically as the game moves along. Not to accidentally make a rhyme there. And there we go, we got two keys. So, you know, I'd like to look for at least one more uh, just to possibly open up that golden chest that we have back there. Can't always get what you want, but try sometimes. You might find the second secret room, which likely contains a bunch of red hearts, if I had to guess. Uh, no, it contains a fortune teller, which we will blow up and get a single pill, which is hopefully a speed down. Or a telepills, which is taking us directly to the shop and thereby saved us a key. Uh, now, this is unfortunate because if I leave, I have to use another key to get back in. But I, oh no, I don't, okay. So what I want to do is get 15 cents and buy that compass. That should be a no-brainer by now. That is like reason number one for living in the Northern Lion tool set. Uh, but, you know, there's a bomb bag here. That's pretty good. We really need to find the second, or the, the original secret room, I guess, as the case may be. So it's not there, unless you can't bomb your way in through there from item rooms. And I only need two more cents to make it happen. Uh, so, oh, this is real bad, actually. Anarchist Cookbook, save me! I, I'm gonna take a ton of damage here. We accidentally found the secret room, which is great! Uh, and just die, just thank you. If I take more damage, it doesn't matter. Isaac's Fork will at least help me out a little bit. Wow, there is a lot of money in there. Alright, so we're actually basically good to go on this floor now. Uh, we'll bomb our way out, go back to the shop, pick up the compass, pick up the spirit heart that was in there, I think it was. And, uh, our first boss should not be much of an issue. Mom might be an issue, because sometimes she can get a little finicky with Ipecac, but, uh... We have the High Priestess card back there as well. Uh, you know, that probably beats the Magician card, but at the same time, is it worth backtracking for? Uh, I don't know. So let's just roll with it. We're going to be fighting the Fallen, which presents uh, an interesting situation for sure. But, uh, you know, good thing about the Fallen is that in situations like this, we can poison both of them and hit them both with explosive damage, and pretty soon uh, there should be no issue here whatsoever. And we're going to get the Mark, which is interesting. Does that give us a speed upgrade? Didn't appear so, so I, I didn't want to... You know, obviously that's a gray area, but I didn't want to accidentally make myself super fast on a run that's supposed to be about, you know, being as slow as a piece of mechanized infantry, which, you know, probably still moves faster than any human, but, well, not any human, maybe, but most humans, at least. Uh, so I'm kind of bum-rushing the boss, but at the same time, I, if, if keys show up, by all means, uh, hook me up. Like, I'm, I'm excited about the possibility of going to another item room. Those item rooms that we had there were pretty good to us. Uh, the bomb bag, not necessarily the greatest upgrade, but we need that kind of stuff if we're going to fight Isla Zoo's guys who show up, you know, kind of more often at this point. At the same time, I kind of, well, we've reached a dead end, so never mind. Never mind what I was about to say, which was going to be like, you know, why don't we speed things up a little bit here, because the next few floors are almost automatic victories. So we can be automatic for the people, like an R.E.M. song, album, whatever, man. I'm not a musical scholar. Uh, I'm not a businessman. I'm a businessman. Let me handle my business, damn, as uh, JZ says. So, we're going to come up here, and Angel Fetuses should fall by the wayside, which sounds like if you growled that in, like, a black metal voice, that would probably sound super badass. But to me, it sounds like I'm um, some kind of, like, mustachioed, surprisingly effeminate ca camp counselor or something. Like, and the Angel Fetuses will fall by the wayside. I don't know. That was accidentally, like, a Reverend Lovejoy there. Beauty of comedy is in characters for me, but sometimes those characters don't necessarily work out the way that I would like them to. That's why I throw them at the wall here, uh, and then never do anything with them ever again. So, let's just keep running away, because I'm a little bit concerned about the ability of these guys to do exactly what they're trying to do, which is murder me. But if I keep them to the side, or under me, and I keep moving quickly, well, I, I guess that could happen as well, but I really thought uh, we would be in a better position. There's a key! I guess I would be remiss if I didn't at least go back and check out the item room at this point. I could also get that golden chest, but, uh... Golden chests, probably not superbly valuable at this point, because they li they're likely to contain upgrades that are statistical in nature, i.e., you know, oh, fuck. That was a total accident. Please give me a key. Give me some money, bum friend, to hear you. Now you give me a key. Go to a really? And two bombs? Well, that changed things quickly. Uh, we're gonna go back to the boss room here. I swear to God, I, I was on autopilot, but at the same time, 
Uh, I think that it kind of procced a little bit too quickly there. I am also still a little bit mentally in a weird state as a result of this illness that I have. So I, I beg your mercy. Uh, but at the same time, I'm not trying to set any Guinness Book of World Records here for Isaac. I'm just trying to hang out and, you know, enjoy a game that I have enjoyed for a long time in the past. So let's fight Mom. Let's get all laid back. Everyone make a, a Mai Tai or something. I don't even know what a Mai Tai actually is. Uh, you know, I'm not into those resort drinks, man. Just give me a, an apple teeny, easy on the teeny. Uh, now, we are about halfway through this Mom boss fight. We might actually be mathematically exactly halfway through this Mom boss fight. It's getting a little bit harder, I would say, much like it does during the early stages of dry humping. And if we... Oh, doesn't that sound like that would be a movie that you would watch? Like a National Film Board style movie in like grade 10 science class? Like, the early stages of dry humping. Uh, so this is good. Bum Friend could possibly give us some consumables here, so I'm just going to stand still and let this happen. Uh, which also sounds like it could be part of that early stages of dry humping film, but we'll definitely take the Polaroid. And we will definitely take, uh, yeah, yeah, we will definitely take Temperance as well. I don't know how long I want to play this, but this creates a very interesting situation for us, uh, with the Blood Bank and Temperance. Or, sorry, the Blood Bank and, uh, Bum Friend. Because obviously I'm trying to get the Blood Bank, but at the same time, two of clubs, what is that? What is, okay, the pill gives us full, oh man, I wish I'd known that earlier, but still. What does two of clubs do for us? Two of clubs doubles our bombs, okay. Could be better, could be worse. So we have no reason not to continue playing this, given what we've got. Oh, you idiot! Why would you create a live bomb? But at the, sa at the same time, uh, that worked out fairly well for us. He's also paid out with another two of hearts card, which is pretty valuable. Do we know what this pill does? It's bad gas, so it's not worth taking. Do we still have the magician card? Is that what this is? Yeah, why didn't I use that? But in any case, we're good to go down to the next floor, and I'm actually feeling fairly confident about our chances. Not great, but with the compass, uh, and, oh, well, we've got another blood bank, but I destroyed it pretty quickly before even realizing what I was doing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've got some advantages here that normally we don't have. Apicac gives us crazy damage, and Bump Friend gives us the ability to gain consumables fairly reliably as we make our way down here. And uh, the compass, of course, uh, which I've probably mentioned three times by now, but sometimes I forget. So we will pick up this. I really thought that might be the secret room, but it was not. This is indeed the way to get to the boss. This is going to be a super quick floor. I love the compass on the womb. That's a sentence that doesn't sound bad, but it just sounds completely nonsensical to anyone who has not played this game. But, you know, the womb is really where the compass shines. That might sound a little bit worse. Uh, but it, it, it really gives you the ability to just kind of speed through these floors. And it might actually be the most valuable upgrade you could have within reason. I mean, obviously having superb damage would be uh, better, I guess, objectively. But uh, having the compass is the most realistic half-decent upgrade that, that can really carry you a long way by this point in the game. So I think this is a good time to use uh, our Anarchist Cookbook. Hopefully to do a little bit of crowd control. Didn't really do much else. And actually, I'm getting a little bit concerned here uh, by the fact that I'm getting my ass kicked. Actually, hit that slow actually helped me out a good deal because I think it made it more easy, or easier, as we say in the English language, uh, to hit him, which normally is a little bit of a crapshoot, shall we say. So, I've just got to time these shots appropriately. That was a good one. That was not. That is. This is. Yes. Poison damage might get him, even if I don't manage to kill him uh, with a direct hit. But I did! So, we will pick up our cube of meat, which might replace. Yeah, it did replace one of the guardian angels. We've got the whole crew here. Now we can take the miter, and it's kind of hilarious how that uh, has kind of bookended this run so far. So, let's go down to Utero 2. Remember, we did get to the chest on the last run. We had kind of. Uh, unprecedented good upgrades uh, largely due to don't drop the ice creams uh, insolence but ne never fear he has been killed for his insubordination uh, this is a problem this is a, a real problem in fact so if, can I just blow my way out of this room I, I really don't want to deal with this and it's a dead end so let's just go oh my god they've trapped me in here I can't get out use the oh my Jesus Christ. Okay, so I used two of hearts there because I, I fucked it up pretty bad. Uh, I don't know what I was supposed to do on that room, though. Hopefully, uh, we never have to encounter anything like that ever again. That was uh, a real problem. <laughs> so hopefully we uh, can avoid any kind of double lust shenanigans in the future. Even, you know, single lust is, is going to be difficult enough because she's fast and I'm slow and, you know, I can't really hit her without hitting myself. But... You know, we're okay now. We could probably try to finagle something about that uh, boss trap room, but, you know, at some point, let's not be greedy. Let's just instead try to stay alive. Let's do something that doesn't risk our own survival. 
just to gain like a single HP upgrade. Is this really like not working somehow? Maybe like that? I think he's like stepping on the side, which makes it impossible to hit him. That was really weird. In any case, mom's hard boss fight. Should be easy. I got my pattern set right from the get-go here. Wish he would fire once, which he did. And now it should just be a matter of constantly hitting the left button. Possibly uh, at appropriate times, but possibly just whenever I feel that the, the time is right, necessarily. Poison damage might get mon- I, I should at this point just know, like, default Ipecac damage, how many shots it takes to kill Monstro 2. I don't, but I wish I did. That's something that, you know, Bisnap knows that, I guarantee it. Maybe. I don't want to put too much, uh, you know, on his plate unnecessarily. Uh, so we are going to get an easy kill here. Then we're going to go up to the Cathedral, and on the Cathedral, I think we have a very good chance of victory. Uh, the only question is, do we have a chance on the chest? We don't have any... I mean, we, we have zero keys. That's a real problem, because, you know, we, we do have all items essentially accessible to us. Uh, so it's kind of a waste. Uh, whereas in most challenge runs, you know, you just can't take the items. Maybe this will give us, like, a deal with the devil room or something. Two spades. That's two keys, right? All right. Well, now we, we can make a choice, which is almost worse, because now I'm like, oh, my fate's in my own hands now, which I don't know if I necessarily enjoy. Uh, we can't take any active items, as we, you know, have gone over many times. But in terms of passive items, there's possible we can get some really good stuff, as long as they're not range upgrades. Which is actually probably a good, uh, argument for the fact that maybe I shouldn't be taking pills. Because accidental range upgrades could actually destroy this run for me. Uh, and that's not exaggerating. If you have seen recent Ipecac runs, there was one where it just basically became impossible to win. Uh, as a result of me... Uh, just having too high of range, which is really disappointing and also at the same time infuriating, as you might expect. Alright, now only the head remains. We can just walk away, because we know that this is where the boss room ends up. Uh, ends up being next to, I should say, but, you know, might as well. Ah, I should have given that to Bump Friend. Whatever. Probably won't make a huge difference in the whole scheme of things. Alright, now the Isaac fight. Considering that we have Guardian Angel and Halo of Flies, it's probably in my best interest to almost stand still. Like, that probably gives me exactly the same dodging chance as trying to dodge. Uh, because these are rotating so fast. That's, that was the weirdest enunciation on rotating I've ever seen before. Anyway, or ever heard before, I suppose. It's gonna be an easy fight. I think we're pretty much guaranteed to get to the chest at this point. And we might be, I wouldn't say guaranteed a victory. Uh, but we have a very good suite of items. Uh, for taking out these chest bosses, like, or taking out the chest boss and these late game bosses like Isaac and, uh, Blue Baby. Like, we, we do a lot of damage, we do persistent poison damage, and it comes in discrete bursts, so, uh, we're not getting a continuous rate of fire spammed on us. So let's see what we got here. We got the money bag, which would have been better earlier, uh, but still not terrible. And we got Necronomicon, so largely worthless. Uh, whoa, that, I almost, imagine how awesome it would have been if I just FC'd that room, like, didn't get hit. Uh, well, at the same time, only using my Guardian Angel. Now, we've got Lust, and to me that means uh, this is a good opportunity to use a uh, kind of unusual course of events, or uh, course of action. Now, these guys, I'm just kind of rolling around in a circle here. Thank God we did get that one illicit speed upgrade. Oh, it's got me trapped! Actually, we managed to kill Lust not last, which is surprising to me. Uh, but, obviously, as you can tell, uh, killing her is going to be a very sore spot for me, so hopefully this is the last one. We do all, after this, we only have one more room, and this is a very easy kind of room for us to be dealing with relative to the other rooms. I mean, overall, it's, it's not that easy. It's like fighting a Caves Part 2 boss or something, uh, or a uh, Catacombs Part 2 boss, maybe, but, you know, compared to what we could be dealing with right now, it's actually pretty solid, uh, which should give you some idea of the difficulty ramp-up of the game, that that is actually something that I'm, I feel blessed with. Uh, so hopefully this next room has nothing in it, Oh, uh, Bumfriend did pick up that dime or nickel, which is going to give me a Hermit Tarot card and two bombs. Uh, basically totally worthless. And of course the final room is going to be double lust, because otherwise, you know, it wouldn't be a proper Greek tragedy or whatever if I didn't have to face all of my demons right before the end. Oh my god, this is a fucking joke. Ser uh, come on! I can't do anything! <laughs> like, die to poison, you bitch! I'm trapped in here! I'm gonna... Now it's gonna be interesting. Okay, now I'm invincible, so let's just fucking end it. Please be a full health pill. Health up. Okay. Is this how we're gonna have to... Oh, it didn't even give me anything else. I mean, okay, so we're gonna try to beat uh, Isaac or Blue Baby here without getting hit at all. This should be very interesting. I don't think it's gonna work out for us. It's all because of that double lust room. It's amazing how much difference that can actually make. And again, I'm utilizing the uh, very daring standstill strategy, and for once... It did not work out, but again, thank you to, uh, 
the moon shadow for that challenge run suggestion. Sorry, I had to look at my pad where I had it written down. Wanted to make sure I'm giving ample credit whenever possible. Uh, for that challenge run suggestion, it was really interesting, things got weird, and basically I got completely screwed over by that second to last room. But, to be fair, I probably should have found a way to uh, tactically deal with them, although I, that's like literally the worst possible combination of enemies that we can run into. But again, in any case, as always, thank you guys for your challenge run suggestions. Continue suggesting them in the comments, and I will do the ones I deem most entertaining or appropriate or absurd or, you know, to my tastes at the moment. Uh, and as always, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Thanks, as always, for watching, and I will... See you next time.